The State House Democrats here in Idaho will be looking for a new leader. This morning, House Minority Leader Matt Erpelding announced he's stepping down from the state legislature. His reason to advance his professional career before he retires. Joy Prechtel is here in studio now. He spoke with Erpelding and some of his colleagues across the aisle about this decision. Yeah, Mark and Tammy, Representative Erpelding was first elected to office seven years ago in 2012, and he told me today a lot went into this decision and it wasn't an easy one to make. But starting tomorrow, he will step into a new role with the Boise Metro Chamber. The legislature is the single greatest professional position I've ever had in my life. After seven years of serving in the State House, Minority Leader and Boise Representative Matt Erpelding is stepping down. Um, but the reality is that over time it became increasingly stressful on my family because of um, the financial aspects that come with taking the time and committing to the legislature. Starting on Thursday, he will be the Boise Metro Chamber's new Vice President of Government Affairs. It was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. While Erpelding disagreed on many issues with his Republican counterparts in the House, they too will miss him come next session. And I wish him well on his new job. He'll do a good job for the chamber, but he will be sorely missed. He's, good, he's a good egg when it comes to figuring out solutions to problems, and has been. Well, I'm sad to see Matt go. Uh, he was, a, you know, in my job, I work a lot with minority leadership, and Matt was always open, blunt, candid, and uh, but we, we could get things done together. Looking back over his time in the minority, Erpelding pointed to his PTSI bill that was signed into law this past March as his proudest moment. I think my, my most memorable accomplishment would be helping the, our first responders across the state of Idaho get access to workman's compensation insurance for PTSI. And he said the thing he will miss the most are the relationships he formed over time. Whether you're Democrat or Republican, there are a lot of people who I unexpectedly forged lifelong friendships with, and that's the part that I'm most proud of. So now what happens with his seat? Well, the precinct captains from District 19 will get together. And they will come up with three names, those three people who will be who they think are the best candidates to take over. They'll have 15 days following Friday to pick them, and then they send the names to the governor, and he will ultimately pick the person to take over for Erpelding next session. Now, as for his leadership position, it was announced today that Assistant Minority Leader Alana Rebell will run for that. She will have to be elected by her Democratic peers in the House, and that will happen on December 10th. Mark and Tammy? It seems like a no-brainer to me, and I'm sure to most of the yeah. House Democrats. Joey, thanks.